y'all welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me start to finish i'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup i got a lot of new products in this video that i want to try out and then i also share with y'all my go-to lip combo because i get asked a lot what lipstick or what lip gloss am i wearing i do share that with y'all today in this video i haven't done one of these videos in a really long time where i just do my makeup and talk to the camera so let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos and if i should start doing them more frequently be sure that you are subscribed to my channel thank you so much for 24,000 subscribers y'all we're almost at 25k let's go ahead and get into the get ready with me okay so normally whenever i do my get ready with me's i like to start off with my makeup first and then my my hair but yesterday was wash day so I'm really curious to see if my locks dried all the way because y'all know if you watch my channel for any amount of time then you know that I have issues with my hair drying normally it takes like 24 hours at least sometimes it takes more than 24 hours and it has not been 24 hours since I washed my hair so I'm just gonna go ahead and take my braids down because I'm really curious to see if it dried all the way or not so I'm gonna first take some of this almond oil that I really like to use for my hair I like to just take a little bit of this and rub it on my fingers before I take my locks down if you haven't seen my updated wash day routine, I'll be sure to link that down below so that y'all can watch it. So actually, if you watch my wash day routine, I didn't wash my hair the same way yesterday as I did in my wash day routine video, but let me tell you what I did. Yesterday, whenever I was washing my hair, I washed it without braiding it. I know, it was not recommended by my loctician, but I did it anyway, and I think that it's fine. I think that I like the way that I did it, so let me continue on with how I did it because I just kind of got sidetracked there but yesterday I washed my hair without braiding it after I got done washing it I wrapped it up in a black cotton shirt for about 30 minutes I would say and then I took the cotton shirt down and I decided to go ahead and go in and detangle so I detangled each section that you see that's in the braid I detangled it I sectioned it off detangled it and then I braided it I think that that's what I'm gonna start doing because whenever I wash my hair in the braids I just get so lazy and it's hard for me to just remember to take the braids out detangle it and then rebraid it it just seems like extra work to me let me know what y'all do in the comments but I think from now on I'm gonna wash my hair like that I'm just gonna wash it without braiding it wrap it up in a towel for about 30 minutes just so that it's not soaking wet like dripping wet and then I'm gonna go in and detangle and braid it. That just seems like it makes the most sense to me. I don't know, it could just be me though. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking these braids out. I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily finish like unraveling it all the way, like going in and detangling each little section, like each little clump of hair. But I at least just wanna take the braids down. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so, so far, just with doing this side, I can tell you it did not dry all the way, especially in the back, back here, but that's okay. It's not too bad. It's not too damp. It'll finish drying today. It's really hot. Okay, so just took all of my braids out. I didn't go in and like completely unravel them like how I normally would if I was trying to style it because I just, I really want to do my makeup first, but I just, I was just, I couldn't wait. I had to take the braids down because I really wanted to see if it dried all the way and just how it was going to look overall. Now I'm going to get into the makeup. So for my makeup, I have a couple of different products that I'm going to be using today. Um, I guess I'll like show you as I go. Let me just go ahead and get started because if not, then I'm going to be talking for a long time. But I'm just going to moisturize my face first with the same old moisturizer that y'all see me use every single day. It is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. And it doesn't have any SPF in it. 
So just a little forewarning there. I do have some in there that does have SPF in it, but I don't really like the way that it's performing on my skin lately. I just feel like wearing it alone is fine, but whenever I put makeup on top of it, it just looks kind of weird. This is one of the new products that I want to share with y'all. It's this foundation. I know normally I have such a hard time finding my own shade and foundation, so I hope that this matches. This is the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Foundation, and it's supposed to be oil-free. There is the shade right there. It's in the shade Caramel. So I'm going to use a little bit of this. I really don't ever use foundation ever. Let me tie my hair back for one. Whenever you open it up, it does have this little stick applicator thing that you can just kind of use to plop and dot on your face. Whoa, it looks like I did a good job picking my shade. Hold on. Yeah. I think this is going to work, y'all. And then I'm just going to take a beauty blender. Actually, beauty blender or brush? Maybe I'll use this brush. I'm going to use a brush for this. I did a really good job of picking my shade. I'm so shocked. Because normally, I either pick something that's like way too light or way too dark where it's like, what was I thinking? Ugh, I don't like putting makeup on my forehead, but I just did it a little bit. Okay, so now that the foundation is on lightly, this is like extremely light coverage, but that's okay. And who's texting me? Moving on, um, I have this concealer right here that I wanted to try out today, which is new to me. Normally, I use the Matte Velvet Skin by Makeup Forever, but today, I'm going to be using this by Milani. It's the Conceal Perfect... What? Oh my gosh, my phone. Okay, so this Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer, and it's in the shade Warm Tan. Or the number 160 if I can open it to be transparent right now it's kind of awkward for me to film this video because I have not done a chit chat get ready with me like actually showing y'all me doing my makeup in a really long time if you watch my vlogs then you see that I just mainly do like little time lapses of me doing my makeup in the morning but this is kind of a little awkward I must say I don't even know what to say because like I'm not a beauty guru I just do the best that I can on my own face this concealer that I just chose matches my skin tone too well like I'm not really seeing the, the difference here okay so I wasn't really getting that highlighter effect with my concealer this one that I was using so I do have this one tucked away in my makeup drawer it's the hydrating camo concealer and this one is, as you can probably clearly see, like entirely too light for me. But I'm just going to put a little bit on and use it kind of as a highlighting concealer. Because as you can see, like this, it looks like I have nothing on right now. Even though I want it to be natural looking, I still want it like a little bit of like a highlighter effect, you know? We'll see how this does. Okay, this is kind of giving me the effect that I wanted. And then I'm going to take my powder and kind of go over it so that it's not, like, too bright. Next up, I'm going to take some of this. This is my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And what I really, really love about this product, I think I showed y'all this in my one of my previous vlogs or something like that. But you see how it shows you exactly where to put these products? I find that to be so helpful because I'm not very skilled in this just yet. I think I can do my own face, but I don't think I can do somebody else's face. I'm going to take this dark brown right here. I'm just going to put a little bit on right here. And then I'm going to take the same little beauty blender that I use for my concealer and blend it out a little bit so that it's not as harsh. 
Next thing that I'm going to do is go ahead and use some of my powder. This is a new powder that I got. It's in the number 350. And I actually got matched for this. But it doesn't look like my shade. It's just like, I don't know what my own shade is whenever I go out and try to find stuff. And then whenever I get matched for things... I feel like they don't really know what they're talking about. So I just, I don't know. I'm going to put this all over, especially focusing on the places that I put that concealer. And then I guess I'll go ahead and put a tiny bit on my forehead, even though this is like disgusting me right now. I don't know why I don't like to put makeup on my forehead, but it bothers, it really, it, it really takes a toll on me. It bothers me. I'm going to mix these two. This is the one that I normally use on an everyday basis, this Maybelline Fit Me. And then I'm also going to go in with this MAC. They're kind of two different shades of pink. I'm going to do a little bit of the MAC one first because it's like a deeper shade of pink. This MAC one is in the color Breezy. And I've been using this brush lately to put my blush on. It came in this little e.l.f brush set that I got from Ulta like back in January, I think. This one is supposed to be used for powder. I don't know if y'all can see that, but in the corner here, all the brushes tell you what you're supposed to use it for. It's supposed to be for powder, but I like to use it for blush. Because the blush brush, I think it's this one. No, this is for highlighting. But the blush brush is just too flimsy to me. And whenever I put my blush on, I like to have it like directly in a certain area. You know what I mean? The last step in my makeup routine after I do my blush is lipstick and lip gloss so this is my go-to lip combo y'all I do it every single day I think this is by beauty bakery it's the truffle maker it's like a matte brown lipstick and then I go over top with the Fenty gloss balm in the shade hot chocolate the only thing that I would say is with this truffle maker lipstick is that because it's matte it dries really fast and when it dries it's really hard to get off so you want to be really careful whenever you line your lips with this i use the regular applicator that it comes with but if you have a really tiny eyeshadow brush that you can use to get a little bit more precise with your lip lining application that would be even better but i make sure to wipe off most of the product off of this because i don't want too much and then i do like a really thin line only on my bottom lip and then, last step is to just go over top with this Fenty Gloss Balm. And that's it. And I get a lot of compliments on this lip combo, y'all. Y'all should really check it out. I think I said that was the last thing, but I forgot. I want to add mascara to my bottom lashes. I'm going to use this Voluminous Mascara. It's the Bodybuilding Mascara from Black Radiance. That's all for my makeup, y'all. I think I'm going to leave my hair like this, actually, to be honest, because I kind of like it. I think it looks okay. I might just go in and fluff it out a little bit. But I've been really liking wearing my hair up in this half-up style lately. Normally, I bring down, like, two little locks, but I'm just going to leave it all like this because I think that it looks cute. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. I know y'all keep telling me that this is the reason why like I'm having like scalp irritation because a lot of y'all in one of my last videos was telling me that coconut oil actually causes that problem with a lot of people. But I just cannot stop using it. I'm just trying not to get it on my scalp and just spray it like on the shaft of my hair because it smells so good and I just wanna keep using it even though y'all are probably right. Maybe I am just a tad bit allergic to coconut oil because I know a lot of women have that problem with coconut oil. I'm just gonna try not to spray it on my scalp because I love it so much. This is the final look, y'all. I hope that you enjoy getting ready with me today. This was not a tutorial. This is just how I do things. Keep that in mind. So if I did something out of order, that is okay. I'm fine with it. You can tell me in the comments if you want, but I'm not too bothered by it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see y'all in my next one and I'm out.